You are going to love this project. Here's what we're making. I'm calling them scrunch t-shirts. Are they not the cutest things ever? And guess what? They're not tie-dyed. They are painted on with this. I love it. It's called Color Arts, and it's a, an entire kit. It all comes together. You get the uh, little spray gun here, the propellant, and then three different colors comes in this fabric airbrush kit. Yeah, airbrush. You can do it in home. It's so cool. Let me show you how well, first of all, let me show you all the different colors. I love this because you can get about 33 different colors all together, but with the kit, like I said, comes three. But when you start mixing and matching colors, look at some of the beautiful designs and colors that you can create by scrunching up a simple white t-shirt. And when you get really good, you can even write your name or do different designs. And I'll show you how to do that later. But right now, let's scrunch a t-shirt. Okay. Bring my t-shirt over here. All right, let's start with the kit. You get the propellant, as I said. And here's a little trick. When you take it all apart, you're gonna find that the end of your spray looks like this. Well, what you wanna do is remove this little black piece right here, and then you simply attach this to the top of the propellant can. Hear that? That's, that's in, it's popping a cold one right there. Okay, there we go. All right, that's in. Let me show you how this all works. You're going to hear it. There we go. Okay, now, how do the colors work? And do I have to do a lot of cleanup and a lot of changing of things? No, because the colors come in the pouches. Now, this is a fabric paint, but it also works on glass, metal, wood, all different types of materials. And you want to make sure that you go into the archives and look at all of the other segments that we're doing with the color arts and all the different projects. So here's how you want to begin. First of all, when it's brand new, you want to kind of knead the paint a little bit. Mix it all up. And then you want to pay attention to this little attachment in the back. This is the cap, and this little lever right here will allow you to spray in a narrow line, a thin line, or a wide spray. So this is wide open, this is a little more, I guess, or less, and then, and then just to the right of this would be you know, very, very fine. So you gotta kinda play with it a little bit and get used to it, okay? So let's do this. Let's go ahead and start with the orange called Mango Tango. I'm going to take the top off and this is how you attach it. It's this simple. Snap it in right there. The actual spray will come out. The, the air will push the paint out and then I adjust the lever in the back as I go. It's that simple. Okay, before we start to paint, we have to scrunch our tea because that's what we're making, scrunch teas. All right, so I'm going to and notice I'm working in my kitchen, you know, I, I can do that because there's not a lot of overspray here. So I'm going to just take my t-shirt, it's a plain white t-shirt, I bought it at a store for $5. I love that. Okay, scrunch it up. No rhyme or reason here. Okay, this is not a science, don't freak out, just, you know, just let it go, let it go. Okay, before I do that, let me get a paper towel because you want to have something to kind of, kind of test your paint on before you get started. So let's do a little test over here. Okay, shall we? Open it up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Open it up a little bit more. You just gotta play with it until you get used to it. Okay, so that's working. Do it off to the side. Okay, here we go. We're ready to paint. And I'm just gonna do this kind of all over. This is low odor. I, I mean, it's not gonna leave your kitchen all stinky or anything. And it's a great cleanup too, because it is a water-based paint. However, if you are wearing something nice, you won't want to use this because it'll, it'll be there forever, okay? The other thing I love about this is that it dries very quickly. So I'm gonna give that just a second. And now I'm gonna switch colors. <sighs> Look how easy it is to switch colors. I'm gonna close the back of this, pop it out, take my second color, Pop it on. Now I'm going to test it. Now we're ready for the second color. But you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to, I'm going to rearrange. Because I want different colors in different places. Okay, here we go. Just 
trying to hit the white spots, actually. Okay, that's it. Take out this color. First of all, I close it, pop it off. Let's do green. Actually, it's called Gremlin. I love that. Test it. Open it up a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Rescrunch. There's so many different techniques you can use with this. I, I just love it. Okay. I'm going to hit the white spots. The other thing that you, I think, is really important to know is that if you want to do a bunch of different colors, you know, they don't mix together. So clearly, if this was wet, I'd end up with mud brown because of these three colors together. But this is true to color. That's what I love about it. Okay. You ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! How cute is that for five bucks, okay? Now, one can of this propellant will paint you about five t-shirts. So I think that's a pretty cool deal. And if you want more colors, 33 different colors to choose from, the colors will cost you uh, just about four bucks each. But I'll tell you what, a little, as you can see, goes a long way. Okay, so for project instructions, oh my gosh, how cute is that? All you have to do is click onto the shopping list. I'll tell you exactly the colors that I used and how you can get your color arts kit.